Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have demonstrated the Pico BT test fixture to test the Antminer hash boards. Today, I will show you how to test the Wattsminer M21S hash board. When testing the hash board, you need to use a DC 12V PSU to power the Pico BT test fixture, then use an adjustable voltage PSU to power the hash board, and set its output voltage to 13 volts. Connect the cable of the hash board. And then connect the positive and negative poles of the voltage regulating PSU to the positive and negative poles of the hash board. Then select the M21S hash board model. And press the white button to enter the test interface. This is the test mode selection button. MOD can test ASIC chip and temperature sensor. MD2 is to test red chip model command. Here is the selection button for the number of tests. If you select 1, the test fixture will only test once. If you select 999, the test fixture will repeat the test continuously which is beneficial for us to test the relevant voltages. If you toggle this button, it changes to RST. This causes the RST signal across the hash board to go from 0 volt to 1.8 volts. Using this option alone, you can test the health of the RST signals of all chips in the hash board. Well, Next I will demonstrate the two modes of testing Wattsminer hash boards using the Pico BT test fixture. First, select the MOD mode and press the test button. The test results are displayed on the screen. Since the hash board is an abnormal board, I will only explain how to view the test results. The number on the left represents the number of ASIC chips on a working hash board, while the number on the right shows how many healthy chips the oscilloscope detected. From the last ASIC chip to the TXD signal test point of whatever chip you connected the oscilloscope probe to. Temp indicates the temperature of the temperature sensing chip on the hash board. Then, select the MD2 mode, press the test button and start testing the read chip model command. Finally, I will show you how to use the oscilloscope probe to test the TXD signal of the M21S hash board. Usually select 999 mode for the number of tests. Now press the white button to start the test. We see that this number is increasing indicating that the fixture is repeatedly testing the hash board, so that we can test the TXD signal. Start testing the TXD signal. The clip is placed on the negative pole of the corresponding ASIC chip. The oscilloscope probe is placed on the TXD test point. The number on the right side of the fixture screen will change, and then we need to check according to the transmission direction of TXD, until we find the chip with abnormal TXD signal. Well, the above is the method of testing the Wattsminer M21S hashboard with the PicoBT test fixture. Thank you all.